Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if flies can fly in a vacuum chamber. So I have here five house flies. Earlier in the day, I summoned the inner Mr. Miyagi in me, and I captured all five of these flies in my house. So today what I want to test is if the flies can actually fly with the low pressure in the vacuum chamber. So I've already shown in my previous video that being in the vacuum chamber itself, the low pressure doesn't really affect the fly at all. And it definitely wasn't torturing the fly as some people accused me of. And that's because the flies don't have the soft tissue like we have. So for example, when I put my arm in the vacuum chamber, it turned completely red and I started getting little tiny blood pockets coming through my skin. That's because the blood was coming through the soft tissue trying to leave. And another benefit they have is they don't have lungs. And so if they did have lungs, their lungs would explode in the vacuum chamber, but they don't have lungs, and so it doesn't really affect them. But one thing that bothered me when I did the spider and the fly in the vacuum chamber in my previous video is that the fly never tried to fly. It never tried or even attempted to fly because it was a really big, fat, old fly, and that's how I caught it so easy. And so it never attempted to fly, and it bugged me because I wanted to see it try to fly and not be able to. So it was a little bit difficult capturing these, but the hard part now is getting them in my vacuum chamber without them escaping. It seems easy, but in reality, I'm gonna have to try to get all five of them in here and close the lid without the other ones flying out. But I do have an idea. So if you've ever seen the magic trick where a magician holds a fly in his hand and it looks like it's dead, but then it suddenly comes back to life and flies away, the way they do that trick is they stick the flies in the freezer or a fridge for a while and it slows their metabolism down. And so they're not dead or anything, they're just not moving very fast. And you put them in your hand and the heat from your hand warms them up and then they fly away like nothing happened. So what I'm gonna try to do is cool them down so their metabolism slows down and so they're not gonna try to fly away. And I'll try to get them in my vacuum chamber, close the lid, and then once they warm up and they're fine, then I'm going to turn on the vacuum and see if they can fly. Again, this is not hurting them. I'm definitely not freezing them. If I froze them, they'd die. I'm just cooling their internal temperature down a little bit so they're not gonna move as fast. Five flies in the freezer. Let's give them a few minutes. Okay. Here's my magic trick. Five dead flies, right? Okay, the lid is on. Okay, let's just let them warm up a little bit. Seeing some movement. Come on, wake up flies. Oh, that one's up. Okay, they're starting to get up. Let's give them a few more minutes to warm up. Okay, they're all awake now. Let's see if they can fly. So I have a little magnet in here where I can go get them and try to make them fly. Okay, can flies fly in a vacuum chamber? Three, two, one. They're at point eight atmospheres. They're still flying. Point six atmospheres. Still flying. Half an atmosphere. They're having a harder time flying. They keep landing, falling onto the ground. Okay, we're at point four atmospheres. They keep falling to the ground. <laughs> yep, they can't fly. There's one more up here. So we're at 0 0.2 atmospheres. Let me pause it right there. 0 0.2 atmospheres. See how they just fall to the ground? There's one right here. <laughs> so this isn't even a full vacuum. Okay, let me get it down a little more. <laughs> they can't fly. Okay, we're, up, we're only at 0.1 atmospheres, not full vacuum, but they can't get, <laughs> they definitely can't fly. 
That's so weird. The flies have now become walks. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, now I'm gonna increase the pressure and watch them start to be able to fly. Turn on the air, three, two, one. They can fly. <laughs> They're probably really annoyed at this ball attacking them, but that's fine, they annoy me. So what's cool about this, you'll notice that the ability to fly is completely dependent on the density or the pressure of the air. So these flies can fly just fine at atmospheric pressure, but once we reduce that atmospheric pressure, they couldn't fly anymore. The same is true for us, not just flies. For example, if you put on like a winged suit and went outside and tried to fly, there's no way you could fly under your own muscle power. But if you went to Saturn's largest moon, Titan, you'd be able to strap on some wings and just under your own muscle power start flapping and flying in the air. That's because on Titan, the atmosphere is around four times as dense and its gravity is lower than that of the moon. And so that means under our own muscle power, we could fly on Titan. The only problem is it's around 72 Kelvin on Titan. So <laughs> if we could overcome that, then we could fly under our own muscle power. And as much as I hate to do this, since they performed in my experiment, I'm going to let them go. Before I do this, can I just express how much I hate flies? So even though I'm not gonna kill them, I should because according to the Department of Entomology at Penn State University, houseflies are strongly suspected of transmitting at least 65 diseases to humans, including typhoid fever, dysentery, cholera, yaws, anthrax, leprosy, tuberculosis. Leprosy, come on. But still, I'll let them go so I don't get burned at the stake. Okay, little guys, the only thing I ask, you better not come back to my house. Here we go. Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, you're free. Go. No. Okay, gone. Hey, thanks for watching again, everybody. That one was pretty cool. Although I knew what would happen, I knew they wouldn't be able to fly in the vacuum chamber. I knew the flies wouldn't be able to fly in the vacuum chamber, but it's really cool to see it in practice. And if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out, and I'll see you next time.